I'm going to show you a steam turbo that failed and how to permanently fix this turbo. This is a turbo that I'm talking about. So what happened with this one, this is an OEM thrust bearing and there's the OEM size collar or spacer. This spacer is too small to run over 20 pounds of boost, especially when you go with a heavier compressor wheel than what was used with this factory bearing. So they fail really quickly if you do that. So if you use the upgrade kit, this one has a 14 millimeter collar and spacer. This The collar also has 14 millimeters of clear or 14 millimeters of surface area on the back side of this it's not as common for it to wear on this side as it is to wear on this side also the th the thrust bearing that we use in this right here has two oil ports so it has more oiling going to the thrust bearing so that'll help prevent it from failing that's what the thrust bearing looks like there's two versions of the thrust bearing. There's a reverse and forward rotation. So I'll link to the one that you need in the description box. For this one, I'll just show you kind of what the damage was so you get, can get an idea how important the thrust bearing is. It rubbed really bad in and out wise. So it started to crack the turbine wheel and pieces started flaking off of it. So this part has to be replaced. This part got damaged a little bit. You can see it's got some edges where it was starting to hit the cover. But this one could probably be reused. The turbine wheel definitely needs to be replaced. The compressor housing usually gets damaged as a result of the bearing going bad. So you gotta be really careful because if you don't use the correct bearing, it'll destroy the entire turbo. The heat shield is also damaged from the movement. The bearing housing is kind of worn out. I could check it with a seal, but I'm pretty sure this thing needs to be replaced. The way to check that is you could put a rear seal in there and make sure that it closes up properly. I think that it's out of tolerance, but I'll check it before I throw it out. To use that spacer, this area has to be cut. So I use that with my CNC machine, but you could definitely use a Dremel if you didn't have access to a machine like that. If you have a turbo like this that needs repair and you don't want to do it yourself, you could always Send, send me an email and I'll see if I can make time to do it. But that's everything for this video.